you want a big TV, bigger, bigger, still, still a little bigger. That's perfect. There's only one problem though. Uh, have you seen that price tag? It is insane when you get to a hundred inch screen, but you are not out of luck. about the projector, um, I want to thank the folks at JMGO for obviously sponsoring this video, uh, but also thank you for watching and your support. I want to give you a chance to win a $500 American Express gift card. It's super easy, open to anywhere in the world to run it for two weeks. All you got to do is just give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you would do with the projector, uh, but most importantly, leave your social media handle in the comments so I can contact you if you win. Don't forget to leave your social media handle. Let's talk a bit about the projector. So if you're in the market for a TV and you still haven't found what you're looking for, the U2 is an all-in-one projector and you really don't need anything else besides what you get in the box. I was very, very proud of that joke. Uh, and with that, there are three things that stand out here. So image quality, sound quality, and usability. Kind of the, the tripod of, of TV and, and displayness. So projectors have had a lot of issues in the past. Uh, one of the big ones was setting them up. Uh, you'd have to get the alignment just perfect. You have to put them in a super dark room. If you happen to bump it or move it or even just breathe on it wrong, you have to start the whole shebang over again. Uh, more and more projectors can be treated like any TV, which is awesome. So which means setting them up is super simple and you too is really no exception. Take it out of the box and set it down in front of a wall. The adjustable feet underneath and two positioning brackets let you set up the projector in the perfect spot to get that ideal picture. So once you do that, you do not have to go into software and make any fine adjustments. It just works. Uh, on the other hand though, um, this setup process, while being really easy and simple, I uh, can have some downsides. So the lens is fixed focus first. So you have to have the projector in exactly the right spot there are no focal adjustments. And um, because that fixed lens, it's gotta be 100 inches. So you can't go bigger, and you can't go smaller. Personally, I think 100 inches is awesome. That plays to the strength of projectors. But if you need something smaller, then maybe this is not the option for you. But if you're looking for 100 inches, it's pretty cool. So setting up the projector aside, um, you also have a remote, as TVs tend to come with. Well, I guess here you kind of have two remotes. Uh, first is the, the Normie remote that comes in the box. It charges via USB Type-C, by the way, which is a super nice touch. Uh, there's also an app for your phone that you can download to control the U2 as well. So if you want to like type or use gestures, you can do all that stuff from your phone. Um, probably already have that in your pocket and convenient. All of that stuff aside, the main hesitation and the biggest drawback in the past with projectors has been image quality. Uh, the U2 just has a few tricks up its sleeve to make picture quality look the best it can, especially for a projector. So first, it is a laser projector. Um, there are no sharks with them on their heads, but it does work really well and technology does a very cool job. And these have become kind of more and more popular over the years because they are bright and I think most importantly, they don't need to warm up they don't have to be replaced right at the left hand of the projector either. It used to be another big knock on projectors. So you, again, you can treat this more or less like a normal TV. Seems like I keep coming back to that. The difference with this laser is it has a tri-color laser engine. So you can guess how many lasers uh, it has. Uh, typically, you would have one white laser that is shot through a coloring, which gives you uh, your colors. You know, it moves around and it goes through it. It's like a gel kind of thing. But with the U2, you get a super bright RGB lasers. So you're actually gonna get 114 BT2020 color, which basically means you're gonna have a really wide color gamut, which are gonna translate to really vibrant colors. And these, type of, these are colors that you traditionally see on more typical TVs, not so with projectors. So awesome to, to see here. And it's hard to show on camera, obviously, uh, but in person, uh, you can see that the color looks very different. Uh, and it was awesome. I mean, we were chilling with the No Way Home trailer, watching it over and over and over and over, and over again. again.
So the picture quality is great, but when you get down to it, you actually need the TV to like watch things with, right? And I think for most people that generally is like streaming all of the things um, and maybe playing some games. So that's what a TV needs to be good at, at least in my opinion. Uh, so now the U2 has all the ports you would want to plug in your own streaming boxes. Uh, you've got two HDMIs, optical audio, USB, LAN, uh, and uh, service ports. So plugging in like Apple TV, Roku, PS5, Xbox, anything you wanna use will work just like any other TV. Uh, here we plugged in a Roku Ultra and it worked like any other Roku Ultra. It was great. Uh, if you don't have a set top box, like I don't know where you've been, for like the past five years, um, but built into the U2, you also have Luna OS, which is JMGo's Android-based OS. And like many TVs here, you can download apps and use it as you would uh, a set-top box. So you've got you covered there as well. So that brings us to, I think, probably the most striking and surprising part of the design of this projector, uh, the speakers. Look at this. I mean, you, it's very obvious by looking at it, the speakers were a big part of this whole package. Uh, JMGo actually partnered with Dyna Audio to include the 360 surround sound speakers. So there are two full range speakers, two tweeters. Uh, so actually there's no need for a separate sound bar. Uh, it's already built in. I'm not an audio guy, but I was very surprised at how good those speakers sounded. Um, if you were thinking about getting a sound bar and you were gonna invest money into that, I would say wait. Try this first and see how it sounds in your house. I think you'll be very, very surprised. All right, so this whole shebang packs a very vibrant punch, especially when you compare it to the cost of an OLED set. So for 2,100 bucks, you are getting a 100 inch picture with a built-in soundbar essentially. And if you wanted that with the traditional OLED set, you wouldn't really be able to do that. The closest you can find is really 83 inches and that's almost $8,000. Uh, so the value of the U2 is really there. What I told you guys that it does well, it does really, really well. And I wanna make sure you know everything going in. If TV and movies are your jam and you wanna be able to turn off the lights, have the ability to control the light source a little bit, you're going to absolutely love this thing. And setting it up is an absolute breeze. I've tested a lot of projectors over the years and I've seen them get better and better every few years. Having those three lasers makes a really big difference. Having the IO to plug in whatever you want makes a really big difference. The fact you can set this up really easily and not have to worry about sort of jostling it around makes a really big difference. All of those combined make the U2 a really solid option to add to your house.